Our next speaker is going to be Jeff Orr. He's going to talk about ways to data validate in TaxonWorks and uh, Checklist Bank. Jeff? Uh, hello, everyone. Today I'll talk about data validation from TaxonWorks to Checklist Bank. <clears throat> um, and if you're unfamiliar with Checklist Bank, it's a relatively new data publishing platform that was developed to assemble projects like Catalog of Life. And if you submit your data to be published in Catalog of Life, it can be advantageous because of each edition, each data set in an edition gets a DOI with citations being credited to your orchid, which can help increase visibility and impact of your research. So in order to get into Catalog of Life, you'd have to use the Catalog of Life um, export task. And basically you can export at any level in your project. So you select the OTU that you export at, and then that's going to generate a download, which you'll be able to import into Checklist Bank, skipping the step of registering your data and of course, entering your metadata, which is very important. And then basically on the about page, you upload the zip file. And then once it's imported, uh, you can go to the issues page, um, which basically gives you kind of the checklist bank equivalent of soft validation and hard validation in Taxon Works. So you basically get an overview of potential data quality issues with um, your data. And if you basically kind of over, over each task, you can get the definition of what the data quality issue is. And then you can look at the reports. So like there's the verbatim data view, which you'd be able to view by clicking on these links, which shows you exactly your data as it um, came into Checklist Bank. And then um, on this side, if you click these links, it shows you search results tagged with the data quality issue. So these two different views can differ, like basically kind of like Taxon works hard validation if there's something so significantly wrong with your data that it can't import it, you'd be able to view it in verbatim view, but probably not in the imported view. And then also sometimes it automatically corrects some things. So basically in the imported view, you'd see those corrections. Here's a view of uh, the verbatim data in verbatim view, and you can see all the tags that it has on it for um, data quality issues. And then basically this is the um, imported data view. And also, I guess I should point out that we're still kind of optimizing the exporter that goes into Checklist Bank. Uh, some of the concepts, some of the concepts don't map one to one when you're going between platforms. So some issues we're still basically working on improving. So it's not like basically like name ID invalid right now. I know that we've still got an issue that I need to resolve which is an exporter issue and not a data quality issue. Basically, this uh, issues queue has allowed us to um, continuously improve data quality, particularly for contributors that are really proactive curators, like Garib's database started off with a pretty long list of data quality issues, and Paul Schoolmeister really wanted to clear that dashboard of issues, so he's like significantly improved the data quality over the uh, last few years, you won't be able to completely clear out everything in the issues reports because some of them are kind of just informational, but basically it can help you tackle a lot of things. Hand off to Yuri. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> so in addition uh, to uh, different issues reported by Checklist Bank, um, I ask developers uh, to give me reports, uh, give me as an editor of uh, executive editor of the catalog of life uh, to give me reports on uh, duplicated names inside uh, global checklists. Uh, and through my uh, practice of uh, working uh, on the catalog of life, uh, assembling different global checklists from different uh, data providers, I realized that uh, duplicate uh, reports on duplicated uh, Duplicates are extremely helpful to find uh, whether the same taxon I mentioned just once uh, in uh, the catalog of life or split uh, between uh, different conflict and classification and so on. But also such reports are extremely nice for uh, checking data integrity uh, inside uh, global checklists. Jeff, next, please. Slide. Yeah. Uh, so. 
uh, du uh, those reports uh, help me to catch a neglected duplication of taxa in different branches. Uh, and we are analyzing <clears throat> identical species names, subspecies names, uh, identical um, ge uh, generic names, and so on. Uh, it's also helped to catch uh, possible bugs, which uh, may remain in source checklists uh, and remove the synonyms or valid names uh, when you uh, process with the splitting or unifying taxa. It's also help uh, to catch bugs in conversion scripts, which uh, Jeff mentioned. And finally, it's helped uh, us uh, to flag uh, homonyms and propata synonyms in the catalog of life. Uh, we have uh, nine classes of reports on duplicated species names uh, for binomials. And three of them are most helpful, and usually we are sharing them with data providers, checking whether it's valid uh, case or something wrong in a uh, source data sets. It's accepted uh, versus accepted species with the same author string, accepted versus synonym, uh, attached to different um, accepted name with the same author string, or synonym and synonym, versus synonym, uh, in, uh, which are synonyms to different accepted name. Uh, and next slide. Yeah, yeah. and uh, here is just the examples of uh, reports uh, which we get from Checklist Bank, and uh, we are sharing these reports uh, with our data providers, which help them uh, to clean up them checklist and uh, or, uh, ensure us that data are interpreted correctly in the catalog of life. So far, we have uh, 21 ta uh, global checklists from Taxon Works in the catalog of life. Six of them uh, we are updating on monthly basis, and uh, I hope soon we will be able to update all 21 uh, Taxon Works checklists in the catalog of life every month. That's all from me. Thank you. We've got about two minutes left for questions. Thanks, Jeff and Yuri. Questions about um, validation of data in general? About um, maybe we could share a couple links, Jeff and Yuri, to Checklist Bank. Um, and maybe the Checklist Bank API in the uh, in the into the chat, and I don't know if we have that the export documented on docs.taxonworks.org. Um, if we do, we could we could point to the documentation for exporting the COL format. Thanks, Jeff, for those links. Questions about uh, validation while you're thinking. I know talking makes it hard to think, but um, in TaxonWorks, as you heard, we have, I think it's close to three or 400 validations on nomenclature. They're looking at the all the codes of nomenclature um, and trying to provide those validations. But when you compile data, as you're doing for Catalog of Life, you have a whole new suite of problems because you're cross code, for example. And um, really these two products are very synergistic, right? The Checklist Bank validation and the uh, TaxonWorks uh, validation. They act, uh, I think they act together um, well. So um, we encourage, it's, it's really nice to see these different levels of validation and these different levels of um, sort of inspection on data. I keep coming back to thinking about Jen's uh, wiki, wiki examples of how data get cleaned up as well at different levels and at different sites. 